The Lake Chad Basin region consists of Cameroon, Chad, Nigeria, and Niger, and has been a battleground of violent extremism in the past decade. In order to prevent people from joining violent extremist groups, many organizations are designing and implementing local projects aimed at addressing the drivers of violent extremism in their communities. The United States Mission to the African Union and the Institute for Security Studies have hosted two workshops aimed at strengthening the capacity of civil society and community-based organizations to implement PCVE projects. These workshops brought together over 40 participants from various organizations in the Lake Chad Basin region. When you look at the situation around the Lake Chad Basin, whether you're dealing with ISIS West Africa or Boko Haram, both of these organizations go across more than one boundary. And therefore, it's more of a regional type of problem. So we're trying to use a regional approach to tackle a regional problem. The ISS interviewed participants on the objectives of their organizations and how they are working towards countering violent extremism. L'un des intérêts de cet atelier, c'est de réunir l'ensemble des pays qui sont autour du lac Tchad. Parce que compte tenu de la situation sécuritaire, nous, nous travaillons au Niger, nous, nous ne maîtrisons pas le contexte au-delà de notre frontière. Et à cause de l'insécurité, nous ne pouvons pas franchir le pas. Through interactions with various organizations, different approaches to combating violent extremism in their immediate environment were discussed. We formed a better idea of what each region is facing in terms of combating violent extremism. De la dynamique du développement des initiatives entrepreneuriales. Parce qu'on s'est rendu compte que le premier problème qui se pose en termes de d'enrôlement de, ou bien de l'augmentation de l'extrémisme violent dans cette zone, c'est la sous-scolarisation de ces populations. Ils sont très mal scolarisés, ils sont pas très scolarisés, l'éducation n'est pas très bien ancrée. Alors on a développé euh, un concept, Education for Peace. Ah, بالنسبة لعملية التطرف العنفي يعني في عدة أسباب وفي عدة مجالات تساعد على عملية التطرف العنفي. How do you go into the community to see how you can assist um, the, the people. We do a lot of things, and the first question you ask is, why the war? Why do people engage in all those things? What leads to those things? And um, we realize the youth are mostly used, and they go into conflict. They, they don't even think because they are, they, they, they are unemployed, they are into drugs, they are not well trained, they, they, they don't have focus, things like that. The number of women participating in the workshops was profound. C'est toujours une fierté de voir quand les femmes sont au devant de la chose. According to Sanda, the presentations at these workshops brought forth new insight. La, à la différence, il n'y avait pas eu de chèque qui vienne m'expliquer ce que dit le Coran, ce que dit. Je suis certes, je suis aussi musulmane, mais après la présentation du chèque Nourdin. J'ai eu une autre approche. J'ai eu une autre approche et j'ai compris que ce n'est pas seulement une question d'idéologie. The overall goal of this forum was to find a way to improve their overall capacity. And capacity here, we're talking more like organizational capacity, um, to make it more effective in the field. And the second goal of this forum was to be able to create a network of CSOs that work around the Lake Chad Basin that can network with each other. Celui qui a abordé la question sur la justice transitionnelle a beaucoup attiré mon attention parce que mon pays est dans cette situation. De la Côte d'Ivoire est dans cette situation de justice transitionnelle où nous avons vécu des crises. On a engagé une commission euh, d'enquête de recherche de vérité et nous n'avons pas les données pour agir et nous estimons que il est bien que la société civile s'engage dans cela. Bon, au cours de cet atelier, nous avons déjà appris quel, quel comportement il faut adopter face à la violence que nous observons, quelles sont les stratégies qu'il faut développer pour euh, euh, amener les populations à changer de comportement. From, from my session, what I hope they take away is that they own their own monitoring and evaluation. 
because at the end of the day, there are the people who live in the communities who will be in the communities. Donors will come and go, international organizations will come and go, and too often, they, what they consider m and &E is basically reporting to the donors, reporting to the international organizations. And so what I hope they take away with this is the importance of it in terms of their own success, in terms of making their, their communities and countries a better place, and, and also the success of their organizations, regardless of who their funder is. The robust dialogue that took place during the workshop sessions were significant. The participants were able to not only learn from the facilitators and presenters, but also each other. Donc pour nous, c'est un succès d'avoir réussi à mettre en place ce cadre de concertation euh, locale. Nous avons aussi réussi à former des acteurs positifs que eux-mêmes ils s'interrogent, ils s'interrogent sur leur propre sécurité, sur leur propre développement euh, local. Donc pour nous, tout ceci est une preuve que notre travail n'a pas été vain. The overall goal of the workshops was trying to help these organizations as they become more effective in combating and preventing violent extremism. The United States mission to the African Union and the Institute for Security Studies will continue supporting these CSOs going forward to strengthen their efforts in implementing CVE projects. This video was made possible with funding from the United States mission to the African Union. The ISS is also grateful for support from the members of the ISS Partnership Forum, the Hans Seidel Foundation, the European Union, and the governments of Australia, Canada, Denmark, Finland, Ireland, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and the USA.